Hey, it's Josh, and who are you? Dylan. Yeah, and we're in historic British Columbia. We're here on a day trip, having so much fun, right? Yeah. All right, let's show them everything that we got up to right now. <laughs> so my boyfriend Heath and I hopped into my hybrid and headed down Highway 1 from Vancouver to Boston Bar. That's where the Hell's Gate air tram is, and where we were meeting up with my best friend Mary and her family. Her three-year-old Dylan right there, you've probably seen him in some of my previous videos, he ran up to greet us. Unfortunately, when you go, he probably won't be running up to greet you as well, but hopefully you'll have just as much fun regardless. So we hopped onto the air tram. It's actually one of the steepest fully suspended trams in North America. In fact, it's one of the only descending gondolas in North America. And as you can see, the views are pretty spectacular. I mean, we had a train going by, you got the amazing wilderness and the river, a hot guy standing behind you. Well, at least I did it on my trip. Again, yours might be a little bit different than mine. <laughs> and uh, once we got down to the bottom, uh, you can check out the area. There's a lot of stuff to see all around there. You can learn about the area. You can also go to the kids zone, maybe be serenaded by this hot guy. Again, maybe not, maybe that was just my trip. Inside, Dylan and his dad found some toys to play with before Dylan came back out to play me a tune, which I really got down to. Don't be jealous. Uh, there was also some wildlife in the area. Nothing too scary. <laughs> More on the cute side, but definitely of interest to a three-year-old, that's for sure. And then there was also this bridge going across the river, which uh, we all thought was really cool, although Mary was pretty freaked out about walking over top of it, because you can see right through to the bottom. But Heath and I still thought it was kind of romantic, and we loved just checking out the area because it's just so beautiful. And there was also a spot where you could go panning for gold. So everybody was excited to win some riches, I guess. Uh, we helped Dylan figure out how to do it and uh, started finding little specks of gold dust or fool's gold or whatever the heck it was. They were really getting into it. I was like, okay guys, on to the next thing. But they just saw gold in their eyes. They saw their fortune ahead of them. Uh, but then we went into the gift shop where unfortunately they don't accept gold flakes or fool's gold. You have to use real money. But there's all kinds of interesting stuff in there to check out. Uh, stuff for adults and stuff for kids. Dylan was especially excited about the snow globes because he started collecting them. I think this is his third snow globe now, so he loved that. There was also a back room, which might not be the sort of back room you're used to. Uh, this one was full of like history and information on the area, uh, a movie playing that you could check out as well. But let's face it, the snow globe was definitely the most exciting part, right Dylan? For sure. Although, then we went to the fudge factory in the ice cream shop and there was all kinds of goodies in there that Dylan was very excited about. He found a couple big sugary things, but uh, don't worry, they're still wrapped in plastic. He wasn't able to have those. Instead, we let him choose a piece of fudge that we would all share. He chose the orange chocolate one, so we headed back outside to break that up into some pieces and have a taste, which he was very excited about. If you want to do anything and have it be fun and new and exciting, bring a three-year-old with you, because everything's amazing. Uh, once we were done having our fudge, we didn't have too much of it because we didn't want a three-year-old on a major sugar rush and we wanted to go have lunch. So we headed back into the air tram to go back up to the top, take in the last of the amazing scenery and views before hopping back in the car for a 15-20 minute drive into Yale, to the Yale Historic Site. Um, so we were starting off with lunch at the Ward Tea House. So this is um, a cute little shack where you can have lunch. Uh, there's not a lot of selection on the menu, but it's mostly about the atmosphere. It's just so cute and quaint and you know, a train goes by outside the window. We had a lovely lunch in there, had a tasty bit of dessert, which again, didn't let Dylan have too much of. Gotta keep the sugar in check. Uh, they also have this Quest Upon app where you can sort of bring technology into the history and sort of see like historic things as you move it around from the area. It was actually really neat. And then on the same property is this actual house that the Wards lived in. This is the family that moved there during the gold rush. Their original house actually burnt down and then in a week they had it rebuilt. I mean that's how things worked back then. One week your house burns down, the next week you've got a new one on the same property. Amazing. Anyway, then we went over to um, the rest of the historic Yale site where you could go inside this building and there's sort of a museum inside that you can check out all these old artifacts, which Dylan actually found to be 
quite interesting. And uh, we check out that area, but then the sugar was kind of setting in and Dylan was getting a little excited. So we figured we better head outside. Uh, right next to this building is like this sort of old tent city that they would have had in the area back during the gold rush. Um, there were like 30,000 people in this town back in the 1800s. Now there's like, I think 150 or so. Um, so this was definitely a hop in place back in the day. <laughs> and Dylan and his dad got to feel what it was like to maybe live back then. Keith beckoned me into the bathhouse, um, but there wasn't any time for that. There was another place there where you could pan for gold, but we had done enough of that for the day, luckily, so we headed over to the old church. This is the St. John the Divine Church from 1863. It was built to civilize the miners. Definitely one of the oldest churches, I think in like all of British Columbia. A lot of history in this church, um, a lot of old things to look at, <laughs> as it was the case all over the place here in historic Yale. Uh, but it made for a really exciting and fun day trip. Did you have fun today? Yeah. Me too. We went to Hell's Gate Air Tram and historic Yale and had a great time and even got a leaf. So <laughs> come check them out if you want to have fun too. And subscribe if you're new for more fun videos. Bye. Bye. And who are you? Dylan. Yeah, and we... <laughs> and I'm here with... <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? Dylan. Hell's Gate, Air Tram, and Historic Yale. Our car's coming. And the car's coming, so we're going to get off the road. Subscribe if you're new. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>